Weekly <laughs> episode 51. 52. <gasps> There oh, you I go. don't know. There you go. I Ranity, just Stone Seas, FB. We survived July Fourth. Yep. No drama. Survive Everyone well. behaved. No drama. No. I mean, I mean, there was drama, but no police drama, if you will. Sure. They talked about that. People did show up for the Hummer flock. It wasn't that big. Uh, but really? It was that people did turn out, but it was, it was sane. What? Okay. What? what? I don't know. You've been in an attitude. You're in a bad mood today. <laughs> no. Let's say anything. He shouldn't be because we spent some quality time together yesterday. We were going to talk about the story later, but the footage he got with his drone is too amazing not to show you right away. So take a look at this. Here it is. This, by the way, is that field renovation project happening at the high school. This footage is amazing. Now, just a brief uh, update. So they're redoing all the fields. The baseball field gets done. The old practice field now becomes a softball field. The... Um, the football field gets new turf. The stands come down. So what we're looking at here, that's the uh, the baseball. Um, now, Cam also posted this video on Facebook yeah. and got quite a response. As we, as we've predicted, people are going to have comments about this. Yeah. What were some of them? Um, a lot of people didn't really like the fact that... Uh, we were spending all this money on CPC a new field, money. except, you know, you know, they could have gone to the vote months ago, yeah. if not more. That's um, a really good point. And then uh, one of my favorite ones was the uh, from Cliff Watkins. Uh, Here, have a cool beverage while you watch. P.S. This is water from tap on Egypt Beach Road yesterday. New fields, no, uh, no water, upside down priorities in town. And when I glanced at it, I thought it was a beer, but no, that is tap water. So that's a uh, great mm -hmm. image. Mm -hmm. wow, there you go. But this foot, amazing. It's just yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's Great really job, exciting. Yeah. Uh, if you were wondering, too, the, uh, so the plan right now is to have the, at least the football field ready for the uh, Thanksgiving game. So if you're wondering what about uh, the home games before that, I believe right now the, um, they're trying to find a, a nearby field yes. that they could possibly Not use. Not confirmed, I'm not sure. Not confirmed yet. Um, and by the way, there are meetings still going on uh, with these as they kind of go over it. If you go, you may see a new face. Here it is. His name is Peter Umbriana. You like that? I think that's how you say it. His last name is Umbriana. Umbriana. <laughs> oh. He's the new athletic director at the high school. Oh. Yeah. So, um, Brianna, do you know him? That was confusing. I thought you were asking no? me a question. Peter Umbriana. Oh, I like, like it. Like that? <laughs> hey, speaking of sports, shout out to the women of that World Cup team. Yeah. Champs 2019 FIFA. Here they are. Um, now, we need to uh, highlight one member on the team, a localish player. If you, did you know this? Samantha Mewis. I don't know. Here she is. She's from Hanson. You know where is? It's about what, like five miles west of us, yeah, little ish. Uh, she went to Whitman Hanson High School. She started that final match of the World Cup yeah. as a midfielder. Now, after the one, she went viral on Twitter um, with this video. They posted it, um, and it's her just completely overwhelmed. Oh, that's so exciting. She started, right? She did. Yeah, yeah she wow, did start. Look that at great? those stars. I mean, how do you, that the emotion that you oh, feel that's for awesome. that? awesome. Isn't that great? Local. Yeah. Very cool. So Hanson, they 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 uh, they may have some sort of celebration for her as well. Like Parade. Yeah. Parade. Well done, cool. ladies. Well done. Well done. Hey, uh, I want you to go look at this website here. We're not going to talk much about the story. It's situatecca.com. If you don't know what this is, it's the Community Choice Aggregation. Now, remember, this changes our energy source. They're trying to pick one, not the delivery. Delivery remains the same. It'll be national grid. It's the source that will change. Confused? You're not going to be alone. Um, mm. the, the, by the way, so this, this website, there's not much information on it now, but the group behind this, um, they are fast-tracking this. Um, at lightning speed, so much so that at the selectman meeting they were even like, "Whoa, we gotta, we gotta have some meetings here. We gotta get the public involved." Uh, so keep an eye out for that. There's gonna be a huge marketing campaign What's to the get people. Necessarily. What do you mean? If we change the oh, source. Yes. So the so we, the the goal here, of course, which everyone wants, green energy, ideally lower prices too, at a, at a locked in yeah. rate. Okay. Yeah. So we have to choose. So there's a committee together that is selecting who that source will be. Again, the delivery oh. is always gonna be national grid. It's the source. And where National Grid gets that, that will change. Cool. I know, I not know. very thrilling. You know what is thrilling? The Situate Animal Shelter. Yeah. Huge endorsement from a big celebrity. Look, Miranda Lambert. Now, uh, if you don't know who she's, country music star. Used to be married to uh, who? Blake? Blake Shelton. Blake Shelton. Shelton. Uh, she has a national foundation. It is called Mutt Nation. 
cute. Yeah, she helps dogs through adoption drives and donations. She hands out $150,000 in grants every year. And look, Situate made the cut this year. That's amazing. I don't know how much uh, how much the how much money they got, but they say uh, the director says the funds will help them completely waive the adoption fees for nearly every single animal currently in the shelter for three weeks. That's awesome. Oh. Yeah. Isn't that great? So if you want to adopt a pet, now's the time. Definitely. It is. It They're is. basically free pets. Well done. She likes her dogs. Oh, yeah. Don't forget about your cats, too. they got cats over there, too. You They've know got this, everything. You know the story out of Florida on the golf course? There's no. this uh, cat that was harassing um, golfers on the putting green, <laughs> and they wanted to go on, but then people fell in love with it. Uh, it's called Ben the Plain uh, Golf Cat. This oh is what it does. Gosh. It's viral now. And uh, it's, when putters go, it will not allow <gasps> Wait, that's funny. to go in. Look at that. It lives it there? Protects, yeah. That looks like a baby cat. I know. It's a tongue. Oh. It's not having it. Oh. It protects the little wall. Oh. I don't get it. I don't understand why cats love golf balls so it's much. It's weird, right? Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Cats? Jeez. Do they have bones? Like, what was that? Yeah, Look at Seth finding the animal videos. Who would have thought? I'm a changed man. I'm a changed 52 man. 52 weeks in. Changed man. I wanted to, by the way, yep, I wanted to do a beach testing results. Remember we mentioned Lighthouse Beach? Off yeah. the charts last week, uh, but I... By the, when we're filming this, the results aren't out yet. But make sure you go to situatema.gov. Remember, they have to be be, uh, the bacteria level has to be below 100 milliliters. Last week, Lighthouse Beach, that's where that yacht club and the lighthouse, that little inlet there, 1,529 milliliters. It's too many. I mean, it's just crawling with Most it. Most beaches are less than 10. But while we talk beach, so let's talk about that beach, Situate Beach Commission. They got a new fun contest. It's the Beach Sticker Design Contest oh, yeah. in 2020. Cam, get excited. All residents, you are invited to enter. You get the entry form at SBC, uh, sbc at situatema.gov, or you can go to the library, the rec department, or town hall and submit it by September 15th. Riveting stuff. Oh, my God, Cam's literally bored. What are you talking There's about? There's going to be some kid no, out there. Been... Uh, are you going to enter? I don't know. Maybe I will. Yeah, you should. Well, here's what you need to know. Now, stickers are supposed to be one color, Oh, with shoot. a simple design. Oh, come on. Maybe like a sun. Maybe. Judging will be done by a committee of town employees and volunteers if chosen. Your mean? drawing becomes property of the town. Wow. Just so you know. Wow. They own it. I don't love this. That sounds exciting. Maybe Do you get anything for winning? Maybe you like the prize. What is the prize? A free beach sticker. And of course, seeing your work on all the cars. Now look. Do you, oh, are you familiar on. with beach stickers? What they cost? They're pretty expensive. They are. If you're I get, a resident, I get my own free if beach you're sticker. a resident, thirty-five bucks. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If you're a non-resident, it's super expensive, yeah. right? Three hundred dollars. Yeah. If you yeah. want one in Humrock, it's one hundred dollars. So think about this. If you got friends that want to come here, they can't. Well, they you win the contest notes. and you get the sticker and you give that. I don't know if that's legal, but that seems Ooh. so generous. Right. That's $300. not a bad idea, though, because then it just raises its value. Yeah. Do you have to be a situate resident to enter the... Yes. Oh. So then you can just give it to someone. You hear birds somewhere? Yeah, what is that? I don't know. It might be the YouTube video. Just oh. say 52 episodes? That's like a whole year, right? Uh, how, many, how many weeks 42 are... 42 or... No, 52. Oh, is it 52? Or is it 54? How many weeks in a year? 52. 53? The answer is 52.18. 52.1. Oh, good. Well, it's been a whole year. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Situate Weekly. Weekly. Wait, once again, we're hitting those milestones perfectly. We're celebrating properly <laughs> by doing absolutely nothing. Remembering mid-segment. All right, sorry about that. All right, let's spice this up. We're going to do the social scene, but I'm yes. renaming it. We are calling it the Situate Summer Showdown. Roll the animation. That's right. It is hot. It's humid out. Tensions are high. I can see this. People are after one another. All right, so here we go. Brianna is going to walk us through all of the drama that's happening, but I'm gonna give you a little setup. In one corner, we have the much-loved Sandhills General Store owned by Dan and Meg McAdams. In the other corner, Facebook aficionado lover, Jim Hunt, Jim Hunt. So again, Brianna's gonna give us the showdown, but let me just set this up for you. Here's what you need to know. Back in the day, Jim, he has a crew of men that he goes to and they meet weekly and they talk local weekly. politics. And weekly. All the drama, now they used to do it up in Jamie's. All right, so, you know, to Jamie's. Burnt down. So what are they to there. do? 
they moved to the Sand Hills General Store. If you've been in there, you know you walk in, that little ice cream shop, there's a sitting area there, um, and that's where they meet every single week. I don't week. understand. There's so many places in situ. All right, Why there? there's we'll your setup. It, there's your setup. Let's get to this showdown. What do we have, Brianna? July 6th, 12.06 p.m., Jim Hunt posts a rather lengthy post. I'll save it for you, but he says exactly what Seth just said. Um, and includes, this morning, we were informed by the owner of the Sand Hills General Store, our temporary refuge since that fateful fire, that we are taking up too much table time and they have imposed a 20-minute limit, hardly sufficient given our extensi extensive daily agenda and aggressive legislative style. What? Mm -hmm. That post, in my opinion, goes Facebook viral, has over 60 comments, 40, four shares, rather, and is met with a rebuttal. That was round one. Round, round two. One. Meg McAdams comes literally out swinging with a rebuttal post. Awesome. Long. I'll save you the particulars. However, she does say, I don't usually have time for social media as I am pretty busy running my own business, but for you, Jim, I will find the time. Whoa. To be clear, I mentioned that we appreciate your business, but for the summer, if you would not mind, if you would mind not, Taking up so much table time, we can let other customers and families come in, sit down, spend some family time, yada, yada, yada. Most people are out in 20 minutes or so. Not only does she stop there, but she continues to say, Jim, when I see a man sitting on his ass for more than an hour, and a mother comes in with her children, and you do not get up and let her sit down, all I can say is you are lucky you are not a few years younger. Ooh. She doesn't stop there. Ooh. To bring up another issue, what about the morning when you and your group of know-it-alls oh. got in a fist fight at 8.30 in the morning <laughs> in the middle of my store, knocking down tables and chairs while the whole store was full of customers and families? You are a real class act. Oh, so, God. Jim, to be clear, you were not asked to leave, but now, after your recent childish act, you are not welcome back. Oh, we work ouch. hard at trying to run a family establishment, and your type is not welcome. They're out. Oh, my God. Best, Dan. I think the fact that the, the fight started at 8.30 in the morning just makes it so I got to see if they have a footage of that. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe inside. some security cameras. There was just, like, you know, that Imagine was just straight just, like, anger. Imagine being decked. At 8.30 in the morning, you're trying to get, like, your breakfast sandwich. An old man goes down right next yeah. to you. Like, how do you leave? You're just like, all right, I'll take my coffee to go, I guess. Anyone got that on camera? That'd be phone? a sick line, too. You just kind of, I'll take that coffee to go, <laughs> you know? You know, I mean, here's the thing. Jim, Jim they, they probably would have been fine had you just not posted that. I mean, they just oh, were yeah. upset. No one would know. But Facebook. Now, we have to, there were a ton, ton of comments about this. Um, so but let's point one thing out, though. Andrea Hunt, our good friend Andrea Hunt. Again, she has no idea who we are. But she did post, this fight did not involve Jim. Okay. It was his crew. Right, but when you travel in a crew. Also, my mom would say, your friends represent who you are. Just, right. I'm just saying, Come on, that's, that's how I was that's raised. Basic. That's, 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 you know. And <laughs> I, I don't like the fact that he also moved out of the way for the, like, like made room for the, uh, the, the mother and everything. Mm -hmm. And then went to Facebook complaining about yeah. it instead of, you know, complaining about it at the store. That's just classic internet. Yeah. Like that, that's why Say the internet's such an awful another. place right now. Yeah. yeah. It reminds me of the story. Remember that, um, that Hamak, or Hamak, whatever that food uh, Facebook, Ooh, where the woman went on and ranted about this restaurant. Separate Remember club? when we talked about yeah. this? Yeah. The, the owner wrote back and wrote, you miserable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam. And, then at, uh, and then she tried to post and backfired. Anyway. Yeah, let me tell you, this response post was probably almost perfect. Yeah. Because plus. it was not over the line, but it got the point across, and it basically just completely decimated his post. And Knockout. You know, Knockout. Knockout. Bam, bam. That's what I'm going to say. That's going to be new. we got to get a new showdown Ooh, every week. Fine. Love it. <laughs> All right, uh, we got much more coming up, including the first ever photographed orange seagull. Ew. Oh, we'll show that. you it and next. It Stick around. <laughs> I think you're in a bad mood. What? what is your problem? Nothing. Are you mad? Stop looking. You have somewhere to be in five minutes. No. He's supposed to pick up his brother. 
What's your brother's name? Yeah. Ryan. Ryan, sorry, buddy. You're going to wait. <laughs> okay, guess what time it is? Time for the home of the week. If you're just down for the summer and don't know how this works, here's what we do. We take a home currently on the market. Brianna shows us pictures, walks us through it, and then we play a fun, fun game called... Guess that price. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it, Cam. I, know, Cam oh. I don't know what's going on with you. I just didn't get it. So you play at home. You try to guess that price. Cameron, is it going to play right here in the studio? It's going to be fun. It's yes. It's going to be fun. Brianna, where's our home this week? This week, we are taking a trip over to Hummer Rock. Oh, sick. Yes, very sick. Um, this is located on Central Ave. It is a three-bedroom, one-bathroom 1,300 square foot home. It's only been on Zillow for the last four days. Already has over a thousand views with nine saves. Um, a chance to own your own little slice of heaven. Well loved and cared for summer home in Hum Rock is located on the beach and has the added pleasure of unobstructed views of the South River across the street. You know what we say when they say well loved, but whatever. Yeah. Low flood insurance. Currently only seven hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> a year. That, but we're ship on. We're not going there, girl. <laughs> is transferable per the owner. Hummer Rock is a vibrant community with restaurants, stores, and small businesses. Summer holidays are even more special with fireworks on the third and fourth of July every year. Oh Soak in the splendor of paradise on the wraparound deck where you can enjoy vibrant sunsets on the Silt River or sun and moon rises across the gorgeous ocean. Great home for entertaining or investment as you have room for all of your company with two first floor bedrooms and upstairs to a large family room, bedroom number three and additional bedroom number four. Closing up easy with high end hurricane shutters. Shutters, yes. The, the listing just ends on shutters, but huh. that's fine. Um, but Seth, that goes to your point that you know you never know what you're gonna get living right there. In the you water. don't. Don't forget winter. I'm sure it's wonderful what? then. What? Where are you gonna park your car? I, this is this. I, look, I know it's nice to live, but this is. I would never buy a home here. Never. No. This is. And but don't forget the do nourishment project to protect their beaches fell True. through. So. No protection for there's you. There's no protection. Yeah, it's just... I don't mean to... I, Siobhan, don't come after you us. Are, are you a realist? Who's the listing? Kathleen, Kathleen Judge. Judge. Kathleen, do not come after us. Kathleen, I'm just... Um, yeah, I think it's a great summer home yeah. if you got that wad of cash, you know, sticking out of your pocket, but... I got some money to spend. Right. It just... I... Mm, you got money I don't think I don't think they're selling it as a permanent res residence. Right, no, 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 no. no they are aware that this is going to be a seasonal residence, which they're I think aware I'm this will be gone in with. five years. Right. Oh, boy. And, I, and I'm kind of fine with that. Are we ruining the real estate? I know. No, God. we're not. I'm destroying the industry we're, again. We're we know. Making, okay, I'm not we know. Okay, here Maybe we go. I'll it's time to guess like that price. <laughs> Play at home. You've seen the pictures. You heard the description. Okay. Cam, you're up. Guess it's that price. House, but it's an uh, ocean front, obviously. <sighs> Dare I say 450 450 is Cameron's guess. Brianna, what is that price? Is that your final guess? Should it be? I don't know. This home is currently on the market for five hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars. You only do five hundred, but I didn't. Wow. All right. Even closer. Well, I do agree that it's not like your primary residence. No. And that is a bit pricey no. for a secondary residence. But yeah. They did say investment, so I wonder if they the thought is like you'd buy it and rent it out. Maybe. Probably. Airbnb. If so, Oh yeah, can we have Airbnb? Um, yes, you can. Yeah, oh. but the you know the uh, what happened in Citroen? Actually, the Linda Ferguson is not taxes. very happy. The owner of the Citroen Inn, uh, yes, the the taxes they went up a little bit, so she's very, very bad. She's because then she has to raise the, well, she has to raise the price of the Airbnb now. Oh. And it's a very competitive market. So. Okay, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you had fun. I had a blast. Because guess what? Now it's time for our pet of the week. Yes. And it's going to be what? What are we doing, It's a little Brenna? different this week. So because of Miranda Lambert's generous donation, Thanks, I figured, um, <laughs> I don't know what you guys want to see the most, but they have so many different animals at the animal shelter. You can just log online. They have a brand new website. Um, it looks great. Yeah, it and nice. like Seth mentioned, there are no adoption fees for the next three weeks. So all the animals are essentially like it's great. Adopt free. slash surrender. That's a weird tab. Don't look at my tabs, Surrender. Cameron. Well, if you want to surrender a dog. Is that what they call it? Yeah, when you, you have to it give away? it up. Surrender. surrender. Mugsy. 
You're really taking this I might this have to put him in a home. He's getting really old. No! Okay. <laughs> and he's still asleep in my bed. Last year, the animal shelter found homes for a record 653 animals and reunited 38 lost pets with their grateful owners. Our pets come from every corner of the state of Massachusetts and stay with us for as long as they need. They are not and have never been a youth, uh, euthanasia shelter um, for length of sh stay or shelter space. So there are no kill shelter, which is great. But they have a ton of dogs and a ton of cats, and I think they have two bunnies and two guinea pigs right now. So oh, they get rid of those bunnies. Yeah, they, they have must have got lot. rid of. Remember all those bunnies? They, I uh, think they had forty bunnies. Now they only have two. But hey, cheap prices. No adoptions. Head out, go visit them. For bunnies. So for for any animal there, no adoption. Yeah. So you're telling me I could walk in and just grab a dog? I don't think you can just pick it up and leave, but um. You yeah, know what I mean. You have to still apply. In terms of purchasing the Yeah, you just part. go get it. Isn't that great? Holy crap. Free dogs. Yeah. The adoption fees can be a lot at the animal shelter. Sometimes they're like $300, I think. Yeah. So yeah. That's, a that's great. Free dogs. Yeah. Well done. Well done. I'm going to need to get a dog. And I thank think. you again, Miranda. I might have to get another one. Has yeah. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. Speaking of animals, look at this. Picture, yeah. can you believe it? The first ever Ew, orange that? seagull. I'm feeling the sound in the yeah. UK. They saw it. It was on the beach. There was oh a, no, was it this, oil this, no. no. So they got it. So they, no, they had to take pictures. It was hurt. It was limping on the beach. So they had to go do it. And they realized it sort of smelled odd. Ew. And they gave it a bath and then realized it was curry. Curry. Apparently, what? the seagull <laughs> saw us outside a restaurant, saw some uh, food that was covered in uh, curry, took a dive in, oh. and became orange. Oh. And then what happened is the curry, um, like, clumped together on it and weighted him down so he couldn't fly. And then they found him on That's the beach. Really and they saved him. But oh, such yeah. a gross animal. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I they are. What do they call them? The rats of the sky oh, or something? They, they, they are. Just, I'm done looking at this, They killed my car the other week, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's just not right, Trump. <laughs> there you have it. That's good. That was what our a, show. What a note to end off. That what is a good is note it? to end on. It is. There you have it. Thanks for joining us. Brianna T. Stone C. Seth B. We'll see you next week for episode... 53. 53. Yay. Have a good one, brother.